Well, good morning from Revivalist Ministries. My name is Nelson, and this is your Revival Moment for the week, where we look up to reach out. Today, I want to empower you to actively wait. In Jeremiah 29, 7, it says, But seek the welfare of the city that you are in, and pray to the Lord on its behalf. For in its welfare, you will find welfare. It's a pretty common verse that we've seen before. You've probably seen it on a graduation gift, or maybe you've seen it stenciled on somebody's wall in their house. It's Jeremiah 29, 11, where it says, For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, plans that are good and not evil, plans that will give you a future and a hope. This verse is a really popular verse, and often as verses become more popular to many, they lose the value of the context from which they're extracted. And what's happening in Jeremiah 29 is that the people of Israel have just discovered that they're going to be in captivity. They're going to be slaves to the Babylonians. <clears throat> and this is really disheartening news. It's really discouraging, and there's not a lot of hope. And so Jeremiah gets up and says this verse, For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, plans that are good and not evil. And this, this good plan that I have for you should stir up hope within you. But what do you do in the transition? What do you do when you're waiting on a promise that's nowhere in sight? What do you do when you're waiting on the next thing? Well, in this verse in Jeremiah 29, 7, God's telling us not to passively wait, not wait and do nothing, but he's encouraging us that we should actively wait. He's saying, seek the welfare of the city that you're in, for in its welfare, you will find welfare. What's he saying? I really believe that he's saying that you should seek the welfare of the people that you're around currently. Look for ways to build up those around you and encourage those around you and seek the welfare of the place that you're currently in because in its welfare, you will find welfare. I want to encourage you today and empower you to actively wait. We love you. We're praying for you. And we'll see you right back here next week for another Revival Moment. Until then, look up to reach out.